I scored 100 spines about 2-3 years ago and I am going to be telling you exactly how. This is not motivation, it is just a pure system. As mentioned in this series, I will be telling you every single thing in the video I want done before 15 November. And if you do not see improvement in your pre-boards even after applying the tips, I guarantee that I will delete my videos. That is how confident I am in these tips. We first start off with the NCRT mastering between November and December and then we move on to exhaustive practice of PYC very simple. That is precisely what I did as a strategy as well. Now first of all, any reference book that guarantees 80% of the paper from this, 90% of the paper from this, 100% will always come from the NCRT. It is what is used to be making your marking scheme. I wanted to read it with full focus. Do not put any half efforts because I am not putting any half efforts into this series as well. Underline or highlight every single thing that you find important in the NCRT. Whether it is even whole paragraphs because there are some paragraphs just ke har ek line say ek MCQ ban sakta. I want you to underline every single thing that can be framed as a question in your mind. Once done this, I have wanted to master the three-layer framework of NCRT. So what is the three-layer framework? The three-layer framework is basically what I made last year in order to know what the important points of the NCRT are. There are three types of questions that can be framed from the NCRT. The first is surface level. The first layer is surface level. Surface level is basically your back questions and your normal questions which randomly come to the pages. Because those are the most obvious things to do when you are reading the NCRT. So I want you to do them as well and this will make you score 90 plus. Let's move on to our second layer which will make you score 95 plus. The second layer is the do you know boxes and keyword boxes. Because in Walong sir, mostly MCQs come from these boxes. Do you know and Jovi Chisa to skip Kandika Mangartana? Vesi Vali Chisa is the second way. This will make you score 95 plus. And now, for the actual 100, for why you are on this channel except any other, because no one else will be talking about this. The fact is, Tuani and CRT have multiple activities hai, and her activity can each one of the questions that are unanswered in CRT. But do you expect them to not ask these questions? Book may under the way, so they expect the teacher to be teaching this in the class as well. Tumari activities are really so important because these will be framed as case-based questions as well. Do you know why you find case-based and competency hard? Because you have not practiced like this. Activities ke question ke answers, teachers know, but they still do not teach in class. So I interesting in the class. I 90 plus ka 100 ka kyun you can do anything in any activity that you can do in any question. You can do it in any way. 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 And last way, you can do it in any way. But if you do not know the color and the activity paper, you can do it in any way. And that makes sure that your NCRT surface to deep level is very questions in master. Being done with the underlining part, it is highly recommended that you make your own notes as well. But making such exhaustive notes will be very tiring, right? What I want you to do is keep a reference book here, keep the NCRT over here, and keep your actual notebook in which you're going to be making notes over here. What this does is that your main objective notes are that what you have is literally related to the marking scheme, but also the important points only, not the whole book. So in the reference book, you see important points, dekho, mind maps, dekho, Usko to refer karo NCRT mein. The mind maps that you see, the important points that you see in the reference book, you need to refer to the pages in the NCRT, refer to the content in the NCRT and identify keywords from there. Then whether you want to copy direct lines or put the keywords in the notes, that's in your hand. That will give you the actual NCRT marking scheme language while ensuring that you have always important points in notes. Mein. But who asked me? Now the thing is, reference books to bol diya, like in which one? And I present to you the Educard question banks. Now for the sake of simplicity, we'll be using the Educard question banks in every single episode of this series. Therefore, if I tell you keep the PYC practice karne, then I can tell you the exact page numbers as well. So you can apply and build a good personal connection with me. These books contain incredible mind maps along with caution points, exhaustive PYQs along with multiple tricky competency questions, which almost are the difference between 95 and 100 marks. 
You can go ahead and buy them and link in the description and we'll be continuing with what you need to do from these question maps. So what I want you to do is to mind map pe jao kisi bhi chapter ke in NCRT ki the reference book over here that I mentioned. Mind map pe gaye, important points pe gaye, chapter at a glance pe gaye. Then you keep your NCRT over here and then you keep your notebook and I want you to make notes the way I did. And please comment down what the chapter you start karoge because when I started in tenth, I started with the heredity chapter and then moved on to reproduction. So like, is thing se tumhe aare ko apna flow bhi pata chal jayega ki tumhe ko kya aasan lagta hai aur kya hamare se. Now, if you haven't watched the previous parts of the series, I highly recommend you to do so. Even if you have not, I'll cover one point again that your notes need to be keywords only or at least small sentences. Because your paper rewards you for using these keywords, not for what creative sentences you write. The examiner has not have the permission to reward creativity. It only has the permission to reward your keywords. And you know that you're on this. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about cheat codes that no one else talks about. And the cheat codes are diagrams. A lot of you, and almost all of you, will underestimate what diagrams actually do for you. So let me illustrate. अगर तुमको किसी पेपर में आता नहीं है आंसर बट यू नो द डायग्राम ऑफ द स्पेसिफिक थिंग देन मेक द डायग्राम एंड इट विल मेक द एग्जामिनर बिलीव यू नो एवरी सिंगल पॉइंट माय बोर्ड्स पेपर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन का क्वेश्चन था आई मेड द डायग्राम एंड आई रोड द कंटेंट एज वेल बट गेस व्हाट डायग्राम देखते ही इतना अच्छा इंप्रेशन बन गया उसके ऊपर कि उसने मेरा आंसर रीड भी नहीं करा फुल मार्क्स ऐसे अगर तुमको वेजिटेटिव प्रोपगेशन नहीं आता है लेकिन उसका डायग्राम भी आता है जस्ट मेक द डायग्राम यू विल स्कोर सो मच बेटर एंड योर पेपर विल लुक सो मच नीटर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस द एग्जामिनर इज एन ओवर वर्क ऑफिसर एंड वी वॉन्ट टू पुट इज माइंड ऑन इज फेस तो ड्रॉइंग्स डायग्राम्स दैट एक्चुअली मेक्स दैम हैप्पी बिकॉज इट इज एस्थेटिकली प्लीजिंग टू देर आईज एंड सबकॉन्शियसली दे थिंक कि तुम्हारे पास क्लैरिटी ज्यादा होगी सो डायग्राम इज समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू बी यूजिंग मोर ऑफन एज वेल Diagrams and activities, NCRT के दो benchmarks हैं. You need to do these in order to score hundred out of hundred marks. बाकी paper के लिए पढ़ते तो NCRT बहुत ही लोग हैं. लेकिन I want you to actually dive into the NCRT. If you're not able to learn the diagrams, what I want you to do is diagram बनाओ तो मैं एक copy पे, एक paper पे, stick it onto the wall. And I want you कि वो तुम्हारी study table या किसी table के ऊपर हो जो तुम रोज देखते हो. so that every single day you keep looking at the diagram and then you slowly slowly learn how it is made and this is what you need to do before 15 november or 20 november to actually score 100 out of 100 marks the next video is going to be on maths 100 out of 100 on 21st october so subscribe because on this channel you'll not just be watching a topic but rather becoming one yourself